All right, guys, since this is a Nintendo Switch tutorial, I got to read you a disclaimer. Um, I do not encourage uh, any kind of illegal activities. Anything I show you in the video is for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the new hats pack for firmware 20.1.1 with Atmosphere 1.9.1 and Hecate 6.3.1. Uh, this pack is also going to be including the latest tinfoil 20.0 uh, v1 so i'm going to be leaving you all the links in the pin comment of the video so one of them is going to be for my page so just scroll down on the page until you find the wallpaper of the video there's going to be one link for the hats pack um, so this is going to work for any version uh, 17.0.0 .0 all the way up to uh, 20.1.1 so it's totally up to you uh, what uh, switch firmware you want to use so for the first link this is going to be the hats pack so just scroll down on the page until you find the download button you're going to download the folder you're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. I'm also going to be leaving you the uh, website for the Switch firmwares. So it's totally up to you which firmware you want to use. Um, so this tutorial is going to be based on 20.1.1. But like I said, this is going to work for 17.0.0 and up. So you just download your firmware. Uh, just unzip it and then uh, create a firmware folder and then place it on your SD card. So now for the hats pack. So this is the hats pack. It's going to come with atmosphere, bootloader, um, switch folder. It's going to have all the best applications including DBI, uh, tinfoil, Daybreak, Gold Leaf, and Excel, and stuff like that. So now on the left, this is going to be the old files on my switch card. So the folders you're going to need to delete, I would recommend, would be Atmosphere, Bootloader, and the Payload.bin. So just delete those uh, folders from your SD card. You can keep any other folders that you have on your Switch's SD card. It's totally up to you. Now you can um, select all the folders in the hats pack and then just drag and drop them to the root of your Switch's SD card. Um, if it does ask you to overwrite any of the files, uh, just say replace the files in this destination. Uh, this really shouldn't take too long. Um, then you should be all updated uh, to use pretty much on any firmware. Uh, 17 all the way up to 20.1.1. Um, now you can inject your SD card, uh, put it back in, use your RCM jig, and um, load into a Kate, and you should be good to go. Uh, like I said, you can use from 17 all the way up to 20.1.1. It's totally up to you. So a short video. Um, I've been meaning to make this video in this past week. I know this pack has been out for about a week. Um, I was making other videos, so um, I only made it now. I will leave all the links that you guys are going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.